Hi guys, welcome back to Griffin's Gaming Guide. The open beta is currently available for Neo 2 up until the 10th of November. I'm going to showcase every weapon and every weapon skill. Now, from what I gather, this won't be changing in the actual release of Neo 2. So hopefully this will give you a good idea of what the weapons are like, what weapon you might want to choose when you start your Neo 2 game, and just kind of give you a general overview of what's available to you in Neo 2. First up, we're going to have a look at the Axe. It's one of the most powerful weapons in the game. It's got some decent low stance attacks and some very powerful high stance attacks. But I recommend you play this one in mid stance because it just gives you the perfect balance. Like most weapons, but especially so with the Axe. If you use it in high stance, it consumes so much key, it's almost not workable. Using it in low stance, it's very quick. It's still powerful. But for me, mid stance is definitely the way to go to get that best balance of power versus key. It's got some very powerful looking skills and some incredibly good weapon buffs as well as you make your way through the skill tree. Next up we're going to have a look at the dual swords. You'll benefit having this one in either low or mid stance. While high stance is pretty effective, you're going to be dealing a lot more damage doing more faster attacks than you would do doing one kind of more powerful attack. Low stance is especially useful with dual swords, especially if you key pulse at the right time. Just spam the square button, you can unleash a very very fast flurry of attacks. Dual swords offer a nice variety of attacks depending on what stance it is you choose. They've got some pretty good high, mid and low stance skills. So kind of mix it up, give it a go, see what you feel. In Neo, I always recommended dual swords for beginners. If you're brand new to this sort of game, especially if you're new to this genre, you could do a lot worse than picking up dual swords as your starting weapon. They offer you a very good balance of attack and key regeneration, obviously keeping your stamina up, won't let you get staggered, therefore you can keep attacking or defending for longer.
Next up, we've got the first brand new weapon in Neo 2, the hatchet. They're kind of like the dual swords, except obviously they're axes. And they're like dual swords on steroids, basically. They're very, very powerful. I've had probably about an hour or so with these hatchets, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. This will probably be my starting weapon when I actually start the main game of Neo 2. You'll benefit having these ones in any stance, obviously high, mid or low. They don't really seem to have a lot of drawbacks, to be fair. The high attack, if you hold down the triangle button, you can throw a hatchet out, making this, well, simply the best range weapon in the game. The spear always used to be the one to go for if you wanted range. But now you can actually throw this weapon. It's the one to have, to be honest. Skill-wise, we're looking at some very nice skills. They seem to focus more on power rather than speed, which obviously will take a lot more health off the enemy, but it will consume more key at the same time. So make sure that you bolster up your key regeneration skills as well, as that will help you out, obviously, offensively and defensively in this game. Next up, we've got the Kusaragama, a very powerful kind of chain and sickle weapon. It's probably the fastest weapon in the game. If you've got this in low stance, you can do some very powerful combos with it. High stance, I'll probably give it a miss. And mid stance, again, it's, it's good. But low stance is definitely where you want to have the Kusaragama on. Like I've said in a few of the other videos that we've put up on Griffin's Gaming Guides, I always favour doing a lot more faster attacks rather than one big powerful attack. If you miss your big powerful attack, that's it, come back next time. Whereas you've got a lot more opportunity to deal damage with a flurry of faster attacks. For me, that's always the way I'll go in this sort of game. Skill-wise, we've got a very nice balance of speed and power as you'd expect from a weapon like this. The skills themselves have kind of been tailored for low and mid stance. There are a couple of high stance ones, but obviously low or mid is where you want this weapon to be.
Next up, we've got my personal favourite weapon from Neo 1, the Adachi. It's an incredibly powerful weapon, this. You can use this in any stance and you'll benefit from it. The skills demonstrate this fact as well. High, mid or low stance, you're going to see massive benefits with this weapon. And given how long of a sword it actually is, it's very useful at range. It's, I always use the Adachi to keep the enemies at bay. And it does a very good job of that as well. Next up, we've got the spear. Incredibly useful in low and mid stance. It does some very, very nice combos, and it's incredibly useful at keeping the enemies back. In high stance, it's got a couple of good, powerful attacks. But again, like I've stated all the way through this video so far, I'd much prefer a series of fast attacks than one big, powerful attack. And the spear delivers that in spades. It's very, very good. I always recommended that players start Neo with dual swords and then I always told them as well to have the spear as their secondary weapon because it just gets you out of a bit of trouble if you've got a bunch of enemies coming towards you one decent sweep with a spear you can take them off their feet and then either run away or switch back to your dual swords and then deal with them but the spear in this one seems to have been cranked up a little bit it seems to have a lot more damage and a lot more speed than what it did previously making this a very viable weapon in Neo 2 
Next up, we've got the second brand new weapon in Neo 2, the Switchglaive. Essentially, it's a bloody great scythe, and it's very fast, even in high stance. I'm quite impressed with this one, to be honest. It kind of gives you like a bit of a Grim Reaper feel. The skills as well, they're good. Let's put it that way. There's no really no other way around it. They've put some decent time and effort into this weapon. I strongly recommend you give it a go. Now, for me, I've been using the Switchglaive in either mid or high stance, as low stance is good, but you seem to deal a hell of a lot more damage in mid and high with hardly any key penalties either. So normally in high stance, you'll deal one big attack. That's half your key meter gone. In this one, it kind of flows very nicely down your key meter. Then it gives you a good opportunity to replenish as well. Next up, we've got the Classic Sword. It's incredibly useful, this one, on high, mid, or low stance. Essentially, it's a katana, you're a samurai. They kind of go hand in glove. You can deal some very nice combos in any stance on this one, and the skills showcase that as well. You can have some incredible power or some very fast attacks. It's probably the most balanced weapon in Neo 2. And probably the go-to starting weapon for the majority of you out there, and you could do a lot worse, trust me.
And finally, in Neo 2, we've got the Tonfa. It's kind of like a pair of batons that you'll be using. You can do some very, very powerful attacks with these. And the combos are kind of next level. This is, I'd say, one of the most technical weapons to use. But once you master the Tonfa, the game will become so much more simple for you. Mid and high stance, it's got some very good stopping power. It's almost up there with the axe. I know that's a bit of a bold claim. And a low stance, you'll be unleashing so many fast attacks that the enemy won't really know what to do with themselves. High stance, if the enemy are guarding, it's incredibly useful to break their guard and obviously stagger them, allowing you to do a very powerful grapple attack, hopefully killing them. So guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments section what weapon you're most looking forward to using in Neo 2. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. After you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future content. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.